Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use a Game Guardian scripts to hack your Android games. Now, of course, you're going to need Game Guardian to do this, that should be obvious. Now, the other thing that you're going to need is an actual script, and if you already have one that you want to use, you should fast forward through this, because I'm going to show people how to find legitimate scripts first. What I recommend you do is you go to hackerbot.net, you can just google hackerbot to find it and use the free finder cheat tool over there to find legitimate cheats. This is a tool that only scans websites that are legitimate and offering working downloads, hacks, mods, scripts and so on uh, for whatever you're looking for. That way you stay safe. You don't get any of the human verification scams and weird spam and, I don't know, impossible cheats, uh, unlimited gems in online games and all the weird scammy stuff that you're finding on Google more recently and all the math websites and fake Facebook pages and film websites. It, it's awful right now. Anyways, so FreeFinder will allow you to f Hackerbot FreeFinder will allow you to find legitimate cheats. The way you do this is by entering the game name. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm going for PUBG Mobile Android, because we're playing on Android, and version 0.19.0 is the current one. I'm just gonna visit. If you don't know the current version of your game, there's a check game version tutorial below on Hackerbot.net. Alright, let's find it. And this tool will if there are um, Game Guardian scripts for the game that you're trying to hack, they will show up here. You might have to scroll down a little bit further. There's a, a PUBG Mobile script, for example. Let's just go for that one. But otherwise, it will show you modded APKs and so on that you can use as well, because there is sadly not always a Game Guardian script for the game that you're trying to hack. So, you, get you go over to Game Guardian, and there is the script. Let's download the file. Alright, download is complete. Very nice. Okay, so now we have the file. What do we do now? Okay, we switch over. I'm just gonna activate the script in this game because I don't actually have PUBG Mobile installed. Of course, you're gonna have Game Guardian running. Make sure it's the cloned version with the random name that has to be installed, okay? So you go into your game and essentially you tap the Game Guardian icon. You choose your game that you want to hack, that the script is intended for, and then you go for this button right here, the play button on the very right of the screen. So, this allows you to, to, to choose a file from your storage to import. So I have my file under download right now, since I just downloaded it, and this is the one. GR whatever, Lua, okay, it's always a dot Lua script. So. What you're going to do now is just execute, and that is it. It's now activated, or you're able to activate and deactivate options. So, there might be a mod menu that you can open by clicking the gray button over there. Um, no. Anyways, so that is how you import scripts. They're essentially the same as cheat engine tables for the, you computer guys. They are trainers, they are... Uh, hacks and uh, they're quite honestly easier to use than modded APKs that you might for example uh, be finding on hackerbot.net free finder but they're also a lot rarer so they're easier to use you don't have the whole OBB installing thing and follow the whole long process but they are a lot rarer there isn't as many people producing them and it can take a long time for them to be up Graded. Also, guys, before you download these things, check out the reviews. Like this particular one that I used for this demonstration, I wouldn't actually use because it has really bad ratings, okay? You want to have stuff that's up to date and well rated. Read the comments before you use that stuff or you might get banned if you're using this on mobile games. Also, I always recommend using this stuff on an emulator like I'm doing right here. Emulators can easily be rooted as well, as you can see here. And on an alternative account, just especially if you're trying to hack online games, be safe, guys, be safe. So that is how you do it. You can use, you know, just you can use hackerbot.net free finder to find the scripts or the modded APKs or whatever. 
If there are scripts that are going to show up on HackerBot Free Finder, download them and then make sure to, to activate them correctly. Just go into your download folder and, and activate them there. All right. Anyways, guys, and this is the, the mod menu in the game itself. Yep. Anyways, guys, wish you a nice day and I'll see you guys later.